Hi Stampers, I'm Jill Olson and I'm here today for Watch It Weekly Wednesday and I'm going to show you something new that's coming up November 1st. So it's for a limited time till supplies last. So if you want this, you're going to want to get it soon. It's amazing. It's called the Christmas Rose Bundle. Let me show you right here. You get 10% off if you order this bundle right here and that comes with the stamp set and the framelits. Or this one right here, you can get $112.50 and you could get the designer series paper and the other accessories and it comes with a, a little bracelet that's kind of like an Alice and Andy bracelet. And you can see the stamp set here. Actually, this is the actual size, so this is smaller. You'll see it as I go ahead. And these gold glitter enamel dots are amazing. So you can order this separately. You can choose what you want or you can order the whole thing together. So if you want more of the designer series paper, you can order three or four and it's amazing. Fun, fun, fun. So let me show you how to stamp this. I've received it and I've had fun just playing with this stamp set. And it comes with the two pieces and I went ahead and ordered the, the bundle and I've got the dies here. Let me show you what the dies look like love these little details right here and this is amazing because you can put this on the side of this frame right here and it just gives it really that beautiful extra umph of fanciness this one right here is just stamped um, with just the green I went ahead and used our mossy meadow color and then I went ahead and did it over with the poppy parade and the cherry cobbler and the mossy meadow and early espresso so those are the colors that actually come in the designer series paper in the designer series paper you get three different designs and you'll have the choice of also tr cutting out one of these roses right here it fits so you can either stamp it but it's got this gold sheen on it You'll notice the gold on all those three. And then on the other side, it has just regular cardstock. So let me go ahead and show you how to stamp this stamp set. Now, with your stamps, you're going to get one stamp that's actually not photopolymer. It's the regular stamp. It's the clear stamp. And so you'll see that that's got the heavier pad on it. And I love using the Stamparatus for this application. So I'm going to show you what I did. I love embossing this row. So what I did is I went ahead and used the Versamark and embossed this first. So if you notice, this lines up just right. And I went ahead and embossed it. And then you're going to turn this over like so. And we're going to go ahead and do the flower. And I'm going to use the cherry cobbler. Now I've embossed this, so you're going to want to press a little bit harder on your stamp when you go ahead and press it down on your image because you've got those raised edges. So you're going to want to make sure that you press down right where the stamp is to make sure that you get it in there. So I've got it all in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this other one that I've already lined up. So we'll take that out and I'm going to go ahead and do the greenery first. So when you line this up, you go ahead and put your stamps down on the paper so you can see through them and then you pick up the stamp. So actually, if I did this just with regular stamping, I'd have to stamp this three times or one for each time and then these two. So this was so much easier when I was like, I'm going to make a lot of cards with this particular stamp set. So I want it a lot easier. This way it's a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this up with the Mossy Meadow and press it down and it lines up perfectly. It's really super easy to line this up because they've really designed it well to fit in the spots. Okay, so we've got the green. Now if you want it darker you can go ahead and do it again, but I kind of like it that light. I'm going to turn this over and we're going to do the berries and I'm going to use the poppy parade. Poppy parade for some reason gets all over my fingers and the little dots they all line up perfectly too. 
I guess they're berries, not dots. <laughs> so we've got it there. Now there's one extra step you need to do when you're doing this because here's one I did earlier and you notice the poppy parade are all smeared. So you're going to want to take a scratch piece of paper, which I'm just going to take the other side of this because nobody will see it, and I'm going to set it down and kind of blot it off. And actually I forgot to do the early espresso, the pine cones. So you see all that extra ink that was actually on the embossed area. I'm going to stamp off the pine cones and just go ahead and give them a very small amount of the early espresso because I want them to just show with the gold. Well, let's move this over because we don't need to line it up anymore. Okay, so that's just a slight on the early espresso. So we can take that off. And now we can cut that out with the Big Shot. And it actually goes like this. And it works beautifully. It cuts all those edges out. Let me go ahead and show you some of the different color combinations I came up with. Okay, this is just done with early espresso. So you can stamp that by itself. This is black. I went ahead and did real red and crushed curry. Same green. This is Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape. This is Daffodil Delight and Blueberry Bushel. And this is Highland Heather. And I kind of took some Gorgeous Grape on the pen right there on the marker and just highlighted at the edges a little bit and went ahead and did the little berries in Daffodil. And this right here is I just went ahead and did this in the So Saffron and took my flirty flamingo pen and just kind of went around the edge to make it look like a peace rose. So there's so many different color combinations that you could work with. So I'll show you the samples. This one Aubrey and I came up with and it's in the colors of the DSP. I love these little enamel dots that are have the glitter in them and this beautiful ribbon it has glitzy glitter in it too. So there's one. And this one's that fold that I love to use. Um, we, If you want to know about this fold, there's another video and we can link it to this video. So I went ahead and did that fancy die right there. And then you just pull that out and look how cool that accent looks right there on your actually framelit that looks like this. So that's some ideas used with the Christmas Time Rose Suite. So hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.